scientists have long been baffled by the search for extraterrestrial life in space. And in their quest for aliens, they have a new and fancy alien hunting laser device that will help detect extraterrestrial life in outer space. This insane technology will probably blow your mind and also the minds of aliens settled on exoplanets or their moons. What scientists have developed is a laser technology that could detect signs of life on other planets. Let's go get these aliens once and for all. Orbit Beyond the Blue This amazing new technology could detect extraterrestrial life in outer space, speeding up decades-long quest to find life on faraway moons and planets. The NASA-backed research conducted at the University of Maryland shows that the laser technology could potentially identify signs of life and analyze materials from other planets. Scientists may now access larger compounds with more intricate biological features thanks to the new alien hunting laser. Simpler, smaller molecules like amino acids have been discovered by existing methods, but they are not always suggestive of life. Geologists have hailed this technology, saying that the good thing about the laser source is that anything that can be ionized can be analyzed, meaning if we shoot the laser beam at an ice sample, scientists would be able to characterize the composition of the ice and see biosignatures in it. And not just that, this tool has such a high mass resolution and accuracy that any molecular or chemical structures in a sample become much more identifiable. So, what is the new system made up of? Laser Desorption Mass Spectrometry or LDSM with this we can remove morsels of materials from a sample. And then there is an analyzer called Orbitrap, which determines the chemistry of the mystery material. But for the technology to work successfully on board a spacecraft, it had to be shrunken down from 400 pounds to just 17 pounds. The revised handheld equipment, which now weighs 17 pounds, is claimed to be portable and lightweight enough for astronauts to use when traveling to space. Because the Orbitrap was originally built for commercial use, they were quite large, and hence not feasible for use in space. After spending eight years on building the prototype, which is significantly smaller and less resource-intensive, but still capable of cutting-edge science, the hope is that this system will detect and confirm alien life as indicated by complex compounds. Simpler, smaller molecules like amino acids have been discovered by existing methods, but they are not always suggestive of life. This new tech could change everything. Previously, scientists have used different methods to identify life elsewhere in our galaxy, such as looking for traces of methane or detecting radio signals. As far as radio signals go, the strongest candidate ever discovered for an extraterrestrial radio signal is the WOW signal, detected in 1977. Since then, we have discovered several fast radio bursts, or FUBs, but none come close to being as significant as the WOW signal, until recently, when a team of scientists from the University of Toronto developed a learning algorithm that can better pick out potential alien signals from all the background noise on Earth, and that made it possible to detect a potential alien signals, which will have to be studied further. However, with the discovery of several exoplanets that lie in the habitable zone of its star, physicists now know where to look for signs of life and the new year has started with a bank for the search of Earth-like habitable exoplanets. Yes, scientists have discovered a world which is 95% the size of Earth, and it is a rocky planet. And to make the discovery sweeter, NASA says that the planet may also contain liquid water as it lies in the habitable zone of its star. But how far is the planet? That is the more important question here. And as it turns out, the planet is not that far at all. 
In cosmic terms, it is just a block away from us. The planet, called TOI 700 e is the fourth planet discovered in the TOI system, which is only 100 light years away. The other planets in this system have been named TOI B, C and D, which were found in the first year of TESS's observation. The composition of planets B and D is more likely rocky, and the composition of planet C is more likely similar to that of Neptune. Scientists believe that apart from the newly discovered TOIA, the planet B also might be habitable. This makes it one of the few star systems, with more than one planet in its habitable zone. Interestingly, TOIA takes 28 days to orbit its star, and further studies might reveal its chemical composition. And who knows, this might be the planet with life. But if we do not find life there, don't worry, there are several candidates that could host life. Take for example, Koi 5715.01. This planet could perhaps not just replace Earth should we mess this one up, but be actually better than our blue planet. Yes. This one is a superhabitable planet. But here's the catch. The planet is 3,000 light years away, and traveling to it is impossible in the next 100 or even 1,000 years unless there is a sudden vertical spike in our technology. Koi 5715.01 exists in the Goldilocks zone of its star and is 5.5 billion years old giving life more of a chance to develop so there's something to eat, but not so old, that it still can't generate geothermal heat and lack protective geomagnetic fields. If you could land on the planet, you just might be a bit chilly, and you'd weigh about 80% of your weight. And guess what? You would be able to fly on the planet. Superhumans of a superhabitable planet. Yeah. Koi 5715.01 stands out in the list of all the potential habitable planets. If we could turn Webb towards its direction and read its chemical composition, it could turn out to be a game changer. Tepper 1126b. Next in the list is another super Earth named Kepler 1126b orbiting the star Kepler 1126. This exoplanet orbits its star every 108.6 days. But don't get too excited, because this planet also is very far away. 2072.6 light years away. Speculoos 2 century. LP 899 century, also called Speculoos Twok, is one of the most habitable exoplanets ever discovered, as per our studies. The planet orbits a red dwarf star that's around 100 light years from Earth in the constellation Eridanus. Only a few details are known about Speculoos Twok beyond its size and the eight days it takes to orbit its star. Speculoos II century has a radius 30 to 40 percent larger than Earth's and takes just 8.4 days to orbit its star. It is also tidally locked, which means it has a permanent day on one side and it is always night on the other. Despite these differences, the team estimates that it appears to be the second most habitable planet discovered so far, after trappist one outside our solar system, and could still potentially have liquid water on its surface. Talking about trappist one the James Webb Space Telescope has started to peer at the tantalizing planets in the star system to find life, or the right conditions for it. We also have the first image confirmed images of TRAPPIST-1 from the Superstar Telescope. The image of TRAPPIST-1 is pixelated and, to the untrained eye, doesn't reveal much detail. But if you look carefully, we have a photo bomber here. Webb's near-infrared imager and slitless spectrograph instrument observed TRAPPIST-1 on July 18th. Ultimately, this image has been compiled with observations done during a quick setup shot with the instrument to ensure the telescope was pointed and calibrated properly. At the time, it is believed one of Trappist's seven Earth-sized planets was passing in front of the star. The purported photobomber, Trappist on Ebb, which orbits much too close to the red dwarf, might not be able to sustain life, but a glimpse at the makeup of its atmosphere 
would still be a huge step forward for exoplanet science. Maybe we could point Orbit Trap towards it and find out if it can detect biosignatures. But what do I know?